Thank you for joining today's video and welcome to all the new subscribers. Uh, my name is Wes from Q Design and today we will be working with how to make uh, an age verification pop up for your website. You might want to put one on there if you're selling um, products which need age verification such as alcohol or smoking apparatus um, or an adult themed website. So today, um, for this demonstration, we're just going to be working on a, a CBD website, which is in early stages of being built. So this is just the framework for the website. It isn't finished at all. So this is uh, an incognito window, just so we can see um, when we activate the, the pop-up for age verification. So I think we've already installed it on the website, but it's not activated. So yeah, there's this plugin here called AgeGate. It is a free plugin. Um, I may have used it in the past on other websites, but I haven't really customized it. So we're very much going to be just working on the hop, just just winging it by now, just to see what it does, um, how you can change certain aspects of it with the options. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that activated now. And then you'll see we've got the options on the left hand side. So we've got some options here we can run through. So we can just walk through these. Uh, we've got the age of the user. So 18, 16 or maybe 21 in the US. You can choose if you want it to be restricted for the whole website or just for selected content. So if you do select content, I guess you'll go to pages or posts and you'll be able to specifically mark that as um, as ve age verification. Varied ages, mm, not sure what that does. I'll validate age using drop down fields. So these are more just, um, so that is the UK way of setting the day, US, and then backwards, don't know which country uses that. Uh, you've got remember me and ignore if you're logged in. So let's just, um, and you can do redirect failure. So you can say if they don't pass the test of being 18 years old, you can put the URL in there, like to take them back to Google or something. So it doesn't have to be on the website. Um, so let's just see what's happened. So this is just with the basic settings so far. So let's see what pops up here. There you go. It's a super simple. Um, I think that's just a piece of text. The actual logo, I don't think. No, that's just uh, an H1 tag. So you can put in the date here. So let's just see if we get past it. Okay, excellent. That's good. Um, I shouldn't have done that because I want to keep on using that. So let's go back. Okay, excellent. So we got that there and that makes sense. So there are all the settings you put remembered me. So now let's, let's put the, the message there. Let's work through the settings here. So the heading. Uh, let's put Okay, so we're just adding some settings there. So I forgot what the, we're seeing this a lot now, the area label, should I call it? Um, so I'll just get a, what it is. So it helps with a, um, accessibility now. You'll see it when you're using, let's just get a description up. Sorry, things are going very slow. Okay, so the area label attribute it provides an accessible 
accessible name for an element, particularly when the element itself doesn't have a visible label. So it helps with screen readers, basically, uh, improves accessibility. So you'll see that a lot more now. I think it, we're used, seeing that on WP Bakery with the, um, we're seeing uh, on the salient theme, we see that popping up as well. So we've got this text, um, just all what we have before. Let's just save that, Let's see what, how that affects the Did not do anything. So let's walk through um, appearances. So we've got the logo, we've only got a white, light colored version logo there. Background image, could put background Im image in their foreground. Let's change that to black so it matches the rest of the website. Not sure what that would do. Let's do that. Let's turn off the plug in style so hopefully that takes the, the theme settings. Nothing's changing here at all. <laughs> I'm not sure what is going on. I'm guessing there's a cache problem. So we can just check at the end. I don't think we need to touch any of that, to be honest. So okay, this is fairly good. You can specify specifically where on the website that it should not show the age game. So that's good. You've got some um, control over that. So while it's fairly basic, there is a good selection of um, settings you can change to change the style. Now let me find out what's going on with the pop-up and the styling. So while in incognito, it's not really um, making any changes, but we now just tried in the normal window and this is the how the pop-up's appearing. So I've just been spending some time to figure out what's going on here. So you can see the changes we made. We put the logo in there. Uh, we changed this content and those are the fields and the submit button. But it's kind of strange that we've got this loading um, icon here. So I'm just taking a look through the settings. Um, I thought something would might be in the advanced, but I couldn't see it there. I had a look in appearance and one of the settings I did change was this was layout use plug install on the front end so if we activate that again and then save changes and then give it a refresh there you go we do actually get our um, age verification banner pop up so that look, looks um, that looks good to be honest for a, a simple age verification you don't really need much more than this plugin I don't think pretty much pretty much gives you everything you need um, unless you wanted to collect email addresses maybe I see some of the plugins um, WP forms I think was also recommended to do this but I, I just wanted to use this one so yeah it's it's pretty good for everything you need really I don't think you need anything else. Uh, you got all your styling here. You can put in a, a background image if you preferred. Oh, I'm 
Yeah, in there. But uh, yeah, got your background image, could change the location of items. So super easy plugin to set up, it's free to use. Um, I would definitely recommend that uh, this plugin for age verification. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this. We've got a lot of uh, content coming up. So thanks for watching and see you again soon.